Hey everybody, welcome back. This is REPL. How can I run my JS code as part of the JavaScript overview in Module 0? So here's where the video walkthrough is going to live. And what's a REPL? A REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, and Loop. Uh, read, Eval, I suppose, and then Print, Loop. It's a simple interactive computer programming environment, blah, blah, blah. You can type snippets. And as we showed in the previous lesson, uh, it's where you can write code. And it's a good idea for you to write code there and check out how things work. But you're going to find out pretty soon that the console can be rather annoying for a couple of reasons. Uh, one reason would be that um, it's not really a text editor. It's not really something that you would traditionally uh, edit text or uh, edit your code on. And so what we're going to do is introduce two specific things that are alternatives where you can run slightly more complex code and then mention a few more. So uh, visit REPL.IT. So let's go ahead and click that. And that's one version. We can get there that way. And this is going to have everything all set up. They change these all the time because Replit is an extraordinarily robust developer community and they're constantly adding new features. So this might not look exactly like the screenshot that you saw on the lesson, but this is essentially what you would get to. Now, let's say that you uh, forgot to click there and you wanted to go there anyway. What we could do is just go to REPL.IT. It's going to say, hey, you should sign up. And you can if you want to. Uh, certainly, absolutely feel free to. Um, we have had a previous relationship with the people that work at REPL.IT and very, very uh, developer-friendly uh, situation. But instead, if you don't want to sign up for something, you can go down here to the bottom of the page and click on JavaScript and it'll give you a uh, room for a fresh output. Now, one of the things you're going to see me do all the time is that I'm going to, one, click it to dark mode, and there's something about the aperture of light that enters your eye or some other such nonsense, but I, I just think it looks cool. You can also come down here and disable code intelligence. Now, it might seem like, hey, I'm a beginner, I would really like the code intelligence to be there, but I would proffer that until you get your feet underneath you, which if you're following along and you're a beginner, you probably haven't quite yet, you might want to disable that code intelligence. And what I mean is that if you have code intelligence enabled, let's say that we start typing, uh, let Ray. Um, okay, so the code intelligence is not doing what it, well, hmm. let's go ahead and just say that sometimes when you're in the middle of writing a large program, if you have code intelligence enabled, it can be a little bit distracting, but it's, it's definitely up to you. One of the things that you would keep in mind is that when you do the actual interview, uh, you won't have anything like code intelligence enabled. So as a learning mechanism, I would suggest turning it off. The other version, in addition to REPL.IT, which is a very useful website, let's go ahead and console.log something, as we did last time. Hello world. And you click run. And as we saw, here's our console output. And here's that thing that is, this is the last value that was returned from the code we ran. Again, if none of that makes sense, don't worry about it. Provided that you were able to write console.log hello world and run and then see the output here, you've done everything that you would need to for this lesson. So if we click back to our, our Learn platform, you can also see that there's something called the Chrome DevTools Snippets. We'll go ahead and click that open. This is a fantastic tutorial that will show you how to actually make use of the console, which if we remember from last lesson, we can open by either hitting Command Option J, we can come up to, oh, I think it's View, Developer, and then JavaScript Console, and open it up that way. There's a way for us by using this tutorial to save snippets and run them directly in our Chrome browser. That's not something that I really like to do, but I have zero reason why. It's mainly just because I already like using Replit and I haven't really done this yet, so that's kind of why. Uh, so there's no legitimate reason. To close the console, I can go ahead and hit Command Option J, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The alternatives listed here are JS Fiddle, CodePen, JS Bin. We actually used to house some of the problems for Hack Reactor on CodePen. A lot of these alternatives might be a little bit over the scope of what you'd be interested in right now. Meaning that in addition to running JavaScript code, some of these places will let you run HTML and CSS and get a really kind of front-end development environment going. For my purposes, I like to stick with something like Replit. So for this course, we're either going to be working in the console or REPL.IT. So in the next lesson, we're going to do a few challenges to test your ability to essentially just open the console and paste code in there. Uh, and that's all for the JS overview uh, section. So thanks for watching this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you're enjoying them, and we'll see you in the next one.